The Captive and the Fugitive, Volumes 5 and 6 of Marcel Proust's In Search of Lost Time, continue the intricate exploration of memory, time, and human relationships that characterize the entire series. These volumes delve deeply into the narrator's obsessive and possessive relationship with Albertine, capturing the complexities of love, jealousy, and the interplay between reality and perception. In The Captive, the narrator, Marcel, confines Albertine to his Paris apartment in an attempt to control and possess her completely. This act of confinement becomes a central metaphor for the nature of Marcel's love, which is rooted in a desire for absolute certainty and possession. The more Marcel tries to dominate Albertine, the more elusive she becomes, highlighting the futility of his efforts to fully grasp another person. Proust masterfully depicts the psychological nuances of Marcel's obsession, using the confined space of the apartment to mirror his mental state. The apartment, with its oppressive atmosphere, symbolizes the suffocating nature of Marcel's love, as he becomes increasingly paranoid and suspicious of Albertine's fidelity. His relentless questioning and need for reassurance only serve to drive a wedge between them, illustrating how love, when intertwined with control, can transform into a prison for both the lover and the beloved. The Fugitive continues the story after Albertine's sudden departure, which shatters Marcel's illusion of control. Her absence propels Marcel into a profound state of grief and longing, forcing him to confront the reality of his dependence on her. Proust portrays Marcel's suffering with poignant realism, capturing the anguish of unfulfilled desire and the relentless nature of memory. Marcel's attempts to reconstruct his past with Albertine and to understand the reasons for her departure underscore the elusiveness of truth and the subjective nature of memory. As he receives conflicting reports about Albertine's actions and intentions, he realizes that his understanding of her was always incomplete, shaped more by his own fears and desires than by reality. Throughout these volumes, Proust's prose is marked by its intricate, flowing sentences and deep introspection. He delves into the nature of time, suggesting that the past is never truly fixed but is continually reshaped by our present emotions and perspectives. This theme is epitomized in Marcel's reflections on his relationship with Albertine, which are constantly evolving as he gains new insights and information. Proust's exploration of time is not linear but cyclical, as Marcel's memories and emotions repeatedly return to the same moments, each time with a different understanding. The characters in The Captive and The Fugitive are vividly drawn, with Proust's keen psychological insight bringing them to life. Albertine remains an enigmatic figure, her true nature and motivations always just out of reach. This ambiguity adds to the richness of the narrative, as readers, like Marcel, are left to grapple with the uncertainty and complexity of human relationships. The supporting characters, such as Marcel's friends and family, provide a broader social context, highlighting the societal norms and expectations that shape individual behavior. Proust's exploration of love and jealousy in these volumes is both profound and universal. He delves into the destructive nature of possessive love, showing how it can erode trust and intimacy. Yet, he also captures the deep yearning for connection and the pain of separation, illustrating the dual nature of love as both a source of joy and suffering. The interplay between presence and absence, possession and loss, is a central theme, reflecting the broader existential questions that permeate Proust's work. In conclusion, The Captive and The Fugitive are essential parts of Proust's monumental, In Search of Lost Time, offering a profound exploration of love, memory, and the passage of time. Through his intricate prose and deep psychological insight, Proust captures the complexities of human relationships, inviting readers to reflect on the nature of their own experiences and emotions. These volumes stand as a testament to Proust's genius, his ability to transform the minutiae of everyday life into a rich tapestry of universal themes and truths.